The Utami SA radar has completed air to air mode testing in a limited series stages aircraft and was scheduled to test air to ground mode, but as per latest reports, the DRDO is now gearing up to test electronic warfare capabilities of the indigenous Utami SA radar, which indicates that either air to ground tests of the radar have been completed, or electronic warfare capabilities will be tested along with air to ground mode testing to meet the certification timelines. The limited series stages aircraft will soon receive a newly built two-tom radar, and the DRDO is also renting a long-range detection and tracking radar system, that will be used to test and validate various CW capabilities of the UTAM ASA radar, that will be equipped from the 21st unit of 83 Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets. The first unit of DRDO's expand ESA radar with gallium nitride transmit receive modules will also be ready by October 2022, that is being developed for India's 5.5 generation AMCA stealth fighter jet. The Indian Army's request for information for the phase-wise procurement of 1,770 new generation future-ready combat vehicle, limits the whole tank program to just transfer of technology, and a number of future technologies demanded in the new medium-class tank confirms that the tender has been tailor-made for the 48-ton Russian next-generation T-14 armator costing $3.7 million. Twelve companies have received the request for information, which also includes Pakistan's top ally Turkey, which will offer its 65-ton Alte tank that costs a massive $13.7 million per unit, and will be powered by a Turkish 1,500 horsepower engine that will be ready only by 2024. Turkey still has no real idea whether it will start mass production of its Alte tank and many of the parameters of the Turkish tank does not meet the requirements of the Indian Army. German Leopard and French Leclerc options are also on the table for possible negotiations, but both Germany and France are working jointly on their 140mm MCGS future tank to replace the Leopard and Leclerc. Israel's Merkava Mark III and Mark IV tanks weigh 63.5 tons and 65 tons respectively, and only the Mark IV systems and components are allowed for export and not the entire tank. The American Abrams M1A2 with system enhanced package also weighs 64.6 tons, and outweighs Indian Army's requirement of a medium weight tank. The South Korean K-2 Black Panther is the second strong contender, but it weighs 7 tons more than the T-14 Armata, and also costs $8.5 million per unit, which is more than twice the cost of Russian T-14 Armata. We had also reported in February this year, that the Russian media has claimed that T-14 Armata has received an export certificate, and India is ready to conclude a contract with Russia for an initial batch of 500 tanks. The RDO's Defense Bioengineering and Electromedical Laboratory is the nodal lab doing the research and development on exoskeleton system, and it had said in December 2020 that several configurations including lower and upper extremity, and full body exoskeletons are currently being developed. On the current status of exoskeletons, the DRDO has said yesterday, that biomechanical characteristics of the soldier during various logistics activities through different types of terrain for long distances with their complete military gear has been systematically captured and analyzed, and the DRDO has been progressing on the different design approaches to build an augmentative exoskeleton for the Indian Army which includes passive and unpowered augmentative exoskeleton, that uses passive elements such as springs and dampeners to transfer the payload to the ground, as well as powered augmentative exoskeleton, that transfers the payload to the ground but also impart energy through the actuators resulting in reduced energy consumption by the soldier. Oh,